I was working in a village school in Kenya. Tomotomo is like into the village. And then I was appointed to be uh, working with numerous Western students. Every year they send students to Kenya to work with three institutions. And Dr. Stuart Shaw agreed to be my mentor. And she was always telling me like, mm, you've got the potential. Try to think about like advancing your studies. I applied to you at Boston. It was the smoothest transition I could ever think about. Jacob Karaoke would never have come to the United States, but that changed because of Mercy Kamau, a PhD student who suggested a partnership between the University of Massachusetts and Kenya. As much as I was thinking about like advancing studies, I couldn't even think about the U.S. because we always know the typical obstacles. And the good thing with this partnership, there are so many possibilities. Kenya's ambassador to the United States, Elkena Odembo, came to Boston to explore more partnership possibilities at a business roundtable hosted by the Massachusetts Office for Trade and Investment. I think the any university that is serious about its place in the world, in making a difference, has to have an international outlook. Yes. And building the kind of partnerships that UMass, the School of Nursing, is building with institutions in the whether it's the University of Nairobi, whether it's Aga Khan, whether it's Tumutum, is what will strengthen this institution's program, is what will stand you apart from other institutions in this globalized world. Uh, so I'm just so happy that uh, this program is on. But Ambassador Odembo is not happy because most partnerships between American and Kenyan universities are not formal. But the Massachusetts Life Sciences Center is hoping making more funds available for global projects will bring change. We at the center have uh, an internship program and I would really like to find a way to get the word out to Kenyan students who may already be here in Massachusetts studying in science or technology, engineering, math. Uh, if they're juniors or seniors in schools here, if they're recent graduates, if they are uh, master's level students, and of course we hope with the intent of going back to Kenya to take the skills, but they can participate in our internship program. It's, it's a paid stipend, we pay the stipend, it's a good chance to get some very practical hands-on experience. Some students are already seizing the opportunities they have. It's all about service learning and research. We are students from UMass Boston, go to Kenya, and currently we are pairing them with the Kenyan partners. So every U.S. student will have a U.S. Uh, a Kenyan student to work with for the two weeks. And they go together each and every morning to the community, and they screen all the people who present. No one is left unattended. All the people who present at the clinics for all forms of diseases, but we kind of prioritize cardiovascular diseases and diabetes because they are under-treated. And after that, of course, we consecutively correct data for research so that we can figure out and understand better what is happening in the community. And that's what we are gearing up to. And a lot of students from here are very enthusiastic. I've got the Kenyan partners and they are equally very optimistic about it because of the empowering nature of the program. If more American schools like this one sign formal agreements with Kenyan schools, then more students like Jacob will be able to pursue higher studies in the United States. Reporting at UMass Boston for Samarak.com, I'm Mobi Michelle Kimani.